So I was having a conversation with a friend recently who's the producer of the channel Deep Pocket Monster that's absolutely exploding this past year. And I asked him something. I said, aren't you worried about making your entire channel about a single brand, which is Pokemon? But what he answered absolutely blew me away. He said, no, because the channel isn't about a particular product or company, it's about- Howdy howdy everyone, Nate here. I set out to prove what is making channels explode this year, and I found some pretty interesting stuff. You see, I was expecting some brand new exciting thing that was just working this year, but what I found instead was actually not very new at all, but was hiding under our noses the entire time. So here's what I did. I pulled out channels that have either started in the past year or have experienced experienced significant channel growth in this past year. So pay close attention here and let's see if you can find what I saw. First channel, Blaze Flame, just under a million subscribers, joined this year as of recording this. And the channel's doing primarily shorts about lighters and burning things. Next, Top Pawn, just over 100,000 subscribers, all about chess commentary. Then we got Olesia and House, over 100,000 subscribers, all about homesteading and old fashioned skill sets. And then we have The Butcher Wizard, which is over 100, 50,000 subscribers, all about how to select and butcher your own meat and save money. And then we've got the channel Maxwell, which as of recording sits at just under 50,000 subscribers, but has only published 46 videos, with the primary theme being making yourself better, so things like dopamine detox, books, and cold showers. And then we have the channel Feral Foraging, which as of recording sits just under 200,000 subscribers. That's all about foraging for your own food in the woods, and then what to do with that food once you find it. All right, and here's the part where I ask you, did you catch what I found? Now, of course, I don't expect you to have a magnificent understanding just from those channels and the brief overview that I gave of each of them, okay? Give yourself a break, okay? But with each of these channels that have had significant growth this year recently, they have one primary thing in common, and that is that each of these channels have at their core, the center of the ideas that they're producing on their channel, something that people want. You see, what each of these channels is doing differently than most channels on YouTube is they are being very clear on why the audience wants them. They have one primary thing that people want and they're really focusing on that thing. Let me show you what I mean. The channel Blaze Flame. This one is less obvious than some of the other ones that I found here, which is why I wanted to start with it. You see, this channel is only doing YouTube shorts. You cannot find long form videos on this channel. And almost every one of these videos has one main thing going on burning things. <laughs> now, I'm not condoning that you go around and burn things with lighters by any means. What I am saying is that a certain audience since the dawn of time has been interested in fire and burning things. So if you look at the most popular videos on this channel, what do they look like? Well, let me show you. 1% damage. damage. Okay, so you get the entire premise of this video in the first few seconds. It's burning things with progressively more intensity of flame. So what do people want here? They want to be entertained by watching things burn. What's the channel Top Pond doing? The audience is interested in chess and especially in very good chess players doing crazy plays. So you can see by these, when Magnus overpowered Hikaru in rapid chess, you won't believe this 10 year old's chess rating or Magnus Carlsen doesn't care about the clock. What they're doing here is making it easy for the audience to experience interesting chess moments. So we've got the channel Olesia and House. What are they doing? Now, aside from having a ridiculously high baseline of views, I mean, look at this. They're getting an average of at least 250,000 views every single video. That's insane. But if you watch some of the video, which let me show you. That was eight seconds in, what are you already feeling? That feeling is what they are providing in these videos. Peace, calm, or perhaps back to a state of happiness in a busy world. Now I need to pause for a moment here to say, does that seem pretty simple, what this channel is providing? Hey, it's just old fashioned, you know, living the, the good old fashioned life. Does that seem really simple? Yes, but is it very clearly what some people want? Absolutely. And also, if you're finding this to be eye-opening, you can boop the like button on this video. Now you gotta tell me, did the like button on this video all of a sudden light up with rainbow colors and go crazy when I said that? It might not work on every device, but YouTube has been secretly rolling that feature out and I think it's just a blast. With the channel Butcher Wizard, one has only to go to their videos and sort by most popular to see clearly 
the primary thing this channel is providing for people. Save $80 every time you go to the grocery store buying ribeye steaks. If that isn't an absolutely clear thing that people want, the audience that is watching this channel, I don't know what is. Likewise, with the channel Maxwell, you just need to scroll through the videos and see what's going on here. This video will save you nine plus years of your life in six minutes. This video is about spending less time on your phone, wasting less time on social media. This video is about a life-changing book. All of these videos have the theme of making your life better, going against the green and what might be said as most common for young people today. And then the channel Feral Foraging. And now I have a bit of an insider look on this one because I've worked with Jesse more than once on what is working for his shorts first and then a next strategy for long form video and turning this channel into a full time gig for him, which I am very excited for. Now what Jesse has done with this channel is he's taken something that a lot of people know about foraging for mushrooms or berries or things like that, but not a lot of people know how to do safely. So if we look at the YouTube shorts here, in fact, let me play some of one of these for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lick these berries and if they make my face do this, then they're ready. Let's try it. Yep. Oh, wow. Okay, so it's a fun premise, but what he's doing is he's taking this long forgotten skill of foraging and doing, get this, producing content in an entertaining way to make it more accessible to people. It's crazy, but it's working exceptionally well, which is why I am creating a full guide that I'll be publishing here on this channel for each step that these both fast growth and sustainable channels are going through to do that. Like, did you realize that it can actually be quite simple to match what you are producing with what an audience actually wants to consume, but more on that later. So back to the cliffhanger of the conversation that I put at the beginning of this video. I knew, I knew what I was doing with that cliffhanger. I knew what I was doing. I asked, and I was genuinely curious what my friend was thinking here. Aren't you worried or are you worried about associating yourself so strongly with a single thing, meaning specifically the brand of Pokemon and Pokemon cards? And his response was, and I'm paraphrasing a little bit here, no, because the channel isn't about a product or company. It's not about Pokemon. Even though if you looked at it from the outside, you say, yeah, this channel's about Pokemon. No, it's not about that. It's about time with family and completing challenges. You see, the point I want you to pick up here is that the way to explode your channel and make it sustainable this year is by doing this. Here are your steps. Number one, I want you to start with a thing that people already want. We are not inventing something new here. We are going with something that we already know people want. Then second, I want you to go deeper than just the topic or the surface level thing that you might think that you're doing because it's not about the Pokemon. It's about challenges or time with family. It's not about making homemade bread or homesteading. It's about having more peace in their life. So that third, what I want you to do is add your own transforming layer to that thing. Meaning you're the one that researches further or adds more personality than anyone else or explains more simply. For me on this channel and elsewhere, it was about showing more than telling how to grow a YouTube channel and doing it in a more fun, personality rich way. Because as I've spent literally hundreds of hours working one-on-one -on -one with real channels like yourself, and many of you watching may have actually worked with me personally. I've seen the analytics. I have tested many of these things over and over again. So that I've seen what I've just explained in this video to be a huge part in growing a sustainable and explosive growth channel, but it's not the only thing. There are actually four more primary factors that I've seen each of these explosive growth channels go through, which is why I'm putting them all together in a full guide that I'm publishing next week. Because in that video, I want to show you exactly what's working for the journey of exploding on YouTube. And I will put it right here when it's live. And until then, I'm gonna put another video that YouTube thinks you should watch next.